Alright, welcome back to the FPS game tutorial series and actually we are very close to the end of this uh, FPS game actually the basics of the STL game we just have to make one, two, three more tutorial and uh, although I said that I will make the weapon class next time I actually change the order so first I make the player and then the weapon in this way I can demonstrate well, uh, I, I can do a demonstration video after the player class and after the weapon class as well so more demonstration video mean more fun alright so I created the player.age and player.cpp file and we can start to clo uh, and we can start to code so the player class is basically the player itself so it has a name it has a position and actually i put uh, i pay, place the camera itself in the player class since only the player can move and uh, yeah the first person shooter i think that uh, it should be the best place for the camera class so inside the player it has the collision place the health of the player and actually this uh, uh, th one of these member function contain the collision detection with the level as well uh, and uh, pretty much a, a of and of course it has the weapon uh, vector which is a bunch of weapons although I will not implement it right now since the weapon is th in the next tutorial so in the next tutorial we come back and add the weapon class and some things to it but let's start to create it so first of all the inclusion guard as always so player underscore age and define player underscore age and in the end just an end if so we don't have a, a multiple declaration of the player or definition of the player and the class is called player and oh, as I said it has a name so std string name again I need a bunch of include files which is which are uh, I am actually copy from here uh, I will just copy most of this thing and delete whatever I don't need so we don't need the level right here we need the camera we don't need the function uh, collision sphere plane I need that we don't need text at the moment I believe and the object loader neither so but I need a vector so vector and I need a string so include string okay so it has a name then it has a collision sphere a collision sphere so a center point basically and the radius so that's how we will decide whether the player collide with something or not uh, actually it's not a too good way since the collision sphere has a lot of part of the player which which is outside of the player so if for example we shouldn't use this collision sphere to test bullets if some other player will shoot this player of course it will if it would be a multiplayer game since uh, yeah it, uh, later on we can uh, add more precise collision spheres so not one but multiple spheres and make I don't know 20 but for now I just use one collision sphere okay and it has a uh, health so the player health uh, although these are not really matter this uh, at the moment since uh, we don't really have enemies or uh, decrease the health but I it, I add it right now okay and uh, we have a force this is a vector 3d object force this is basically the gravity although I thinking about that 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 we should uh, place this force to the level class instead of here since uh, this not really a property of the player how much uh, gravity there is it's more like the level so the actual map so gravity I just add the little comment so I will uh, remember okay vector 3d we need uh, I called it direction in the original tutorial so I call it dir uh, direction right here as well so direction is uh, is basically the current the uh, I don't know how to uh, say it but basically that's all it uh, all that it is this direction is continuously added to the position of the player so continuously every fa frame we do the position plus direction direction 
right there so for example if we jump we just set the direction y coordinate so for example in case of jump we just set the direction y coordinate to 10 and uh, we continuously add the position and the direct uh, the position and the direction that will be in the new position so position equal to position plus direction uh, so if we add 10 to the direction y coordinate then it means that the player uh, y coordinate continuously go upward so it basically jump but uh, the direction will be equal to the direction plus the force uh, since the force uh, y coordinate the gravity y coordinate will be a negative number the direction will be always uh, decreasing uh, uh, so that's why the jump will uh, go downward so first it go up and then down as a jump should be maybe it, be, it will be uh, more uh, clear at the end of this tutorial I just added this little annotation uh, little comment so I will remember and you will remember okay and make a, and we need a bunch of boolean value actually so like we need is ground so the player is on the ground and we need is collision do we have a collision uh, what else do we need uh, is sprint so if the player is sprinting although I will not implement the sprinting at the moment this will be a more detailed actually this the sprint and things I will just try to stick to the most important thing about the player class all right and we need a float uh, sprint speed so the uh, speed when we sprinting just add the variables but not implementing the actual function that's what i wanted to say okay and we need a normal speed which is the normal walking speed of the player uh, i think this is the player's property although we have to uh, pass it later on in the camera class uh, since that's what it uh, that's basically what the responsible how quick the player is okay and we need a look speed so the mouse speed that's what i called it in the camera so uh, if i move one pixel on the screen uh, the mouse how many how much uh, rotation should it uh, create and things like that uh, it's again it's uh, i think mostly the property of the player okay and uh, we have this energy energy it has a weird name but it's basically how much uh, sprinting energy you have left so of, of course if you are sprinting then the energy will go down and if you are not sprinting this energy will go slowly upward uh, that's what it does okay we need uh, points and yes I know that I should put all of this flow to one line all of the ins one line all of the actor 3d one line and things like that and it should be and it will be five line of code but I just uh, place it right here so we can add comments easier okay so the point is obviously the uh, po how many points does the player have and uh, I just uh, uh, so I don't have the weapon variables right now uh, here uh, but later on we will add that so we go to the public and we have a camera cam okay uh, I just add that it's public since we need that a lot of time and we don't want to always just get the function we uh, so get a getter function and by modifying the camera really no harm is done so if I other things modify the camera okay and then we have the player constructor the player constructor waiting for the name so actually it should be const char name const char n like name and it has a collision sphere so collision uh, collision sphere and cs uh, and not call the same name so uh, we can uh, we don't want to use the this pointer right now I don't feel that I like want to do that okay and uh, actually I just uh, so we will need the weapon right here too and what else do we have obviously we need to define uh, these uh, 
sprint speed, normal speed, loop speed, so this, these will be float, float, sprint, speed and uh, float, float, normal speed and uh, actually normal speed, okay, and loop speed, so float, loop speed, and this will be just passed to the camera constructor since it's weighted. Uh, all right, we can just pass as a parameter the, these other f uh, other things too, like health and uh, gravity. Maybe later on I will do that. I don't know. I don't feel that I want to do that right now. Okay, and uh, yeah, that was about the player and the destructor of the player. Uh, I think this will be an empty destructor again, since we don't have re really anything which is declared uh, uh, dynamically. Next thing is the typical void update and void show functions. These will be not empty. Okay, and the update function will actually wait for the collision planes in the level. So std vector and collision plane. And this will be a um, uh, pointer or reference or I don't know what should it be. Never mind, so call plane. This is how the player can decide whether it has a collision or not. Alright, and the other thing is a bunch of setter and getter functions since these are the most important ones. So, we can make like void jump. Uh, wait, I don't implement the jump neither. I will implement later on jump and sprint. Uh, we need uh, almost uh, uh, so we need a uh, getter function for almost everything right here. So because this is so simple and straightforward and I don't want to use this uh, tutorial just to implement all of the, uh, just to write down all of these getter function, I will write it off camera. Alright, I finished. After all, there were uh, not that much of getters and setter function as I thought. But uh, I just typed it in, so it's pretty simple. Uh, I think you can type it uh, by yourself. Uh, one important function is, uh, function is the set position, which will be used later on. It's with a vector 3D object. Maybe that's the only one that's uh, not completely uh, straightforward. Uh, yeah, let's uh, make these functions. So the actual implementation of these functions in the player.cpp file so I just include the player.h and let's make it okay again I will stop it while I formatting and adding the player colon colon to everywhere all right I reformatted the code so everywhere I place this player colon colon before the actual name of the function and I add that the all of the open and closing brackets right here and I remove the semicolon after the lines and that's all I did so we can start to implement these functions uh, the constructor all uh, is again quite a si uh, simple and straightforward we just set the name equal to the n and the collision sphere equal to the collision sphere defined in the parameter okay what as the sprint speed equal to the sprint speed the normal speed equal to the n speed so normal speed uh no normal speed that's how i wrote it and uh, let's make the force so force dot change uh, 0, 0.0 and uh, minus 0 0.3 I don't know if it will be enough or not later on we, will, we can easily set the gravity by changing this constant obviously constant obviously okay and 0, 0.0 perfect then we need the direction uh, actually we don't need to change the direction since the default is okay so the 0 0 0 okay we just uh, set the position of the player so set position and uh, the set position weight it uh, it is right here weight a vector 3d object so vector 3d and change the position to just above the level so we can we don't spawn inside the wall and then the collision may do uh, weird things 
uh, but we uh, spawn uh, above the level so we can fall down to the level. Alright, uh, cam the set speed. So we set the speed of the camera. Uh, uh, we implemented this function, just uh, I believe we implemented this function. So it will be just set the speed to normal speed and look speed. R that's right. And uh, we just, uh, what else we need to do is just set the sprint. Uh, we already did that. Oh, look speed. That's what I forget. It. Look speed equal to look s. Okay. Uh, and we need to initialize the ops, which would initialize the points to zero. So points equal to zero. Uh, energy equal to ten. I don't know. It's not. It's not really matter at the moment. Okay, we initialize these. Let's initialize these constants. So is ground false, is collision false, and is sprint false. So everything in here will be false. So just copy and paste it right here. And yeah, this equal to that. And this equal to that. And everything equal to false. Uh, that's right. Next order of business we have this, this. Oh, health health I don't know equal 100 so why not and uh, yeah that was the last one we need that we needed to initialize the destructor is empty again since we don't have anything which uh, was uh, dynamically allocated the update function we will get that back to the update function in a moment uh, but first of all let's make the simpler functions like this show function which I just realized is empty again uh, until we add the weapon later on here will be the weapon uh, show but for now we it's just empty since we don't want to show anything in in here set position uh, uh, so in the set position we actually need to add two line one line is to add CS so the collision sphere dot center equal to the position the other thing to do is the cam dot set position. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I was correct. It's n uh, it's set location. I was correct about not sure about set location set position because it was set location, and we just passed the position right there. Okay, so that was the set position. So we need to uh, set the actual looking position and uh, center position of the collision sphere get name this again simple return name get health that is simple return health so we can write out to the screen later on obviously then return cs for the collision sphere return points we should automatize this uh, this kind of getter and setter function. Okay, health equal to age uh, and points plus equal n. Uh, that's correct, and we can get back to the update function right now. So this will update the player position, obviously. So first of all, let's add the gravity. So if direction dot y so the y coordinate of the direction is greater or equal than uh, force dot y so if uh, the current direction is greater than the force dot y then we have to decrease the direction so direction plus equal uh, force so we use the overloaded plus equal operator which we have made in vector 3d object and basically all we do is like let me show an example so write the y co coordinate so after for example a jump we have the y coordinate of 3 then we have the y coordinate of 2 and then we have the y coordinate of 1 0 minus uh, 1 minus 2 and uh, for example if 2 the gravity then it stops there so the direction will be minus 2 and this minus 2 will be always added to the current direction uh, the current position of the player 
uh, that's what it does. It's hard to explain a little bit, but uh, I think you can uh, understand it. It's uh, not that complicated, just uh, uh, not complicated, just hard to explain. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, the next thing is to get the camera location, so vector 3D, and uh, this is the new position, at least I call that. So, not now position, new position. So, cam.get location. So, we get the camera location, and we will use this new position for the collision stuff. Okay, and... Uh, and we can just uh, use a for loop to go through all of the collision planes. So for i equals 0, i less than the call plane that size. Call plane that size. So we go through all of the collision planes in the current level. Obviously these collision planes was uh, filled up with that object loader we just made in the last tutorial. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I completely lost where we are. Okay, I++. And then I just use the collision. If I included, I'm not sure about that either. Uh, no, I haven't included that yet. So include collision .h. So we have made this collision class, which stores all of our collision function uh, in, uh, in uh, as a static function. Collision, actually, I mistyped that. Collision, another I. That's right, collision. Uh, so if it stores all of our collision function as uh, static, so we can just uh, call it like collision colon colon without having to make an actual class. And sphere plane is the name of the collision class, uh, is the collision function, which use a sphere and a plane to determine if there is a collision or not and actually correct the collision not just determine if there was all right we should determine which parameter it's waiting so i just copied this sphere plane definition from the header file and first of all it write it weight the sphere position so this should be our new position which we have created right here the second parameter is the vertex normal of the collision plane. So call plane i uh, dash uh, so arrow normal. Then the next is uh, the four point of the collision plane. So call plane i dash and then we get the point. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Nope, the, this is not the pointer, so I will not make the same mistake again. We need to use dot instead of uh, an arrow, uh, arrow, since uh, this is not a pointer. This is this is just a normal data. Okay, so p zero. So get the first vertex and again get the all the other vertexes. So one, two, three, four. That's right. So this is three, two, one. Okay, and uh, what else do we have? A r radius. So CS dot R. So the radius. Uh, did I call R or radius? Not sure. Yeah, I call it R. Perfect. So now it the new position should contain the new position which uh, which uh, we have after the collision. So we only need to do now is just to set the new position to the new position. So set position new pos. That's right and we are pretty much finished. Uh, to set the is ground variable to true we have to determine if the new position is changed or not. To do that we have to check if the cam dot get location uh, dot y, so we get the location and the y coordinate is is not equal. Actually, I should put it in an if. So if uh, it is not equal to the new position dot y, then we have something change in this sphere plane. Then 
so from here to here something has changed so obviously there was a collision and probably it's it's a ground collision so is ground equal to true as false maybe more uh, it will be better if check if the new position y coordinate is greater than the get location in that case it is uh, pretty sure that it was down uh, so it was ab ab uh, above us no beyond us but what that the collision happened below us since the y coordinate increased so is ground equal to force that's what I am talking about and pretty much that should be the update function uh, and I think we are pretty much ready with this player class so we can just go back to the game.cpp and game.h file and let's create a player so player pointer and uh, I don't know player one okay and in the game.cpp file in the constructor let's create the actual player so player one equal to new player and uh, the parameter should be first of all the name of the player I don't know player one just to be creative the next uh, thing is the collision sphere so let's create a collision sphere and this collision sphere uh, weights in the constructor the first parameter is the center point so vector 3d and 0 10 0 this will be the center point and the radius should be uh, I don't know I will check in the original project I use 3.0 so it's it might be good and the next is just the looking speed so 0 0.2 0 0.2 and the mouse speed sh should be 0 0.7 or what uh, I don't know set everything to 0 0.2 okay we have a new player so again just call the update function in here so player one uh, the uh, arrow update and uh, in the show function let's just show the player which is uh, again an empty call player one show and yes I see that I forget a uh, one in right here now we can try to compile the program and if everything goes uh, correctly then the player will fall downwards if not then we can you do a little debugging all right so I forget to include it so let's just include our player so include player dot h as I said and uh, run the compiler okay so uh, what the problem is collision sphere yeah uh, parenthesis should be the problem I believe so whenever we create the player I think I forget to yep I have to close the parenthesis of the collision sphere and that should terminate a few of the error but might uh, okay so uh, collision sphere vector 3d oh bad place now it is uh, the parenthesis uh, closed parenthesis is in the correct place so these functions uh, so these errors are fixed uh, game.cpp20 uh, parenthesis is missing it does not yeah uh, too many uh, closing uh, parentheses or what is it called brackets I don't really know okay 20 uh, 72 player update no ma of course we have to give the update the levels uh, zero we just made the current level later on and dash uh, get what was it I check it yeah here it is get collision planes so we just get the collision planes from the level and pass it to the player that's right 
it should fix uh, one more error and how many do we left with uh, update yeah uh, one more error is in players.cpp line 10 so player.cpp line 10 and for the change uh, g now we can try to compile it again so a few new lines and try to run it okay N apparently nothing is happening and that's probably because in the game.cpp I forget to remove this camera so remove the camera from the game uh, everywhere so whenever we create and initialize the camera uh, we just search for it so cam okay uh, delete this one and uh, delete this one and actually uh, we have a problem right here with the draw skybox uh, yeah I will thinking of I will think about that later on for now just comment it out and uh, play a show I think I we can fix the error with the draw skybox because the draw skybox should be between the control and the update and the update camera function and the problem is that both the co uh, control and the update camera function is in the player uh, so let's go back to the player and uh, add or something uh, do something with the camera so in the update I will just use uh, you know what we can uh, we can do is to get the player one and since the player one has the cameras uh, as public so get the cam and uh, just call the control functions for it and uh, and uh, above the draw skybox get the player one again and cam dot uh, update camera uh, that's correct so add the one right here now uh, so we control and update camera is in the player anywhere as we should uh, yep here is player one and we just use the mouse in right here uh, and we can just delete this line okay uh, so all I did here is just remove the camera from the game class and every uh, call for the camera I not call it the, the camera in the game class but I call the player camera uh, so the given member function uh, so try to compile it again and check to see if we are falling okay we are definitely not falling but why not I think we should uh, get to the camera class and remove the move camera up function since we don't need that anymore we want the gravity to do the up down motion not the uh, not the camera itself so if we look upward we don't want to go upward we want to uh, go to I don't know forward but uh, yeah try to compile it again and check to see if it solves the problem or we have to debug more so are we falling uh, I think it, I think everything working uh, might be a uh, collision detection definitely works since I can't go out uh, these walls I should set different colors for different walls so I can determine which wall I am uh, which wall I am colliding with but collision detection definitely work I'm not sure about the gravity uh, I think we can determine that by go into the player.cpp and set our position or uh, initialize, posi initialize the position to a little more upward 
so whenever I create a player not in the player class uh, I set the position to I don't know uh, 30 and I set the x coordinates to something different so I should fall down uh, next to the actual level and uh, wait for a moment and okay this doesn't help so 40 uh, check to see is this value even uh, uh, change the arc initial eye position doesn't seem like that so let's go back to the player and uh, see why oh cause uh, we should get the ccs dot x uh, y and z coordinate right here so x y z so the problem was obviously that we have a fixed position here so not matter what I changed with the CSS, CCS so the collision sphere position we uh, always spawned at 0 10 0 coordinate so now we should spawn next to the actual level so if I row it's not x y z this is this is actually C ccs dot center now it is the center uh, center point of the collision sphere that's right and are we falling uh definitely not why are we not falling uh, i will debug and i will be back in a moment that's right because I think that's because I forget to uh, set the position so cs dot center plus equal direction so now all the, uh, I did is to add the uh, uh, current position uh, and uh, okay so I think I forget uh, I think I found the problem so called set position the problem was that I didn't even set the position I just set this direction val variable but not the position of the player so set position and we get the current position so C, uh, CS center and add the direction to it so direction that's right and try to run it again maybe maybe not uh, I haven't tested this out yet just are we falling yep we are definitely falling down cool i think that should conclude this lesson for now and uh, i will be back with the weapon class and later on we'll test more this subject but uh, for now it seems that most of the things working if not later on i will correct it thanks for watching and have a great day